Welcome to this video where we're going to be covering encryption. Uh, because we're covering it at GCSE level, there's not a massive amount to talk about uh, because it is tr quite a tricky subject and uh, it'll get harder as you progress through the levels. So um, we're going to be talking about the basic concept and the need for encryption. I'm going to look at the C as a cipher algorithm. So encryption is a process of making data secret. And the purpose of this is so only authorized viewers can read the data and so decrypt uh, the message and third parties cannot. So it's a component of a field of cryptography, uh, which is the study of secret communication. So hopefully you would have heard of things like Enigma and uh, the team at Bletchley Park in World War II. Uh, they were cryptographers and uh, so a lot of encryption has come through wars initially I and mean, now it's used uh, massively because of the internet. So uh, uh, one thing to sort of get straight before we look at it in more detail is that uh, an encrypted message doesn't prevent it from being intercepted. Anyone could re anyone could intercept an encrypted message uh, potentially, but the idea is they wouldn't understand it. It would just be a scrambled message. So this is the encryption process. So the first step is to write your message in plain text. So this is sorry, I should say this is a process of communicating. Uh, trans transmitting a encrypted message. So you write your message normally in something called plain text, uh, which is the data in human readable form. Then you encrypt it using an algorithm to do this. So you scramble the data into something called cipher ciphertext, which just looks up, just looks like jumbled data. Um, and then the message is sent, the message is received, and then the person who receives it can decrypt it back into plain text. So they, they can do this because they know how it was encrypted initially. And the point of encryption is to make the data secure during the transmission. Uh, and it, the algorithm should be should scramble the data enough so that it cannot be cracked easily and people can't people can't work out what has happened and so they can reverse the process. So why is encryption needed? Well firstly it's needed to protect data and this is the main reason. So you know, online banking needs to be encrypted to prevent people stealing credit card details and uh, commit fraud. And government details need to be kept secure because they might be of, you know, a national security interest, uh, etc. Another example might be, uh, say, personal details like health, healthcare. You know, the health of people is very personal and needs to be kept safe. Uh, a second reason often questions come in the form of you know give two reasons why something is needed and so a second reason um, which is difficult to explain because it's very specific to certain algorithms uh, particularly uh, public key uh, cryptography which is very very interesting if you can uh, try and watch some videos on that might be good um, so it can be used to verify the sender so that'd be a second reason uh, but at this level you can't really elaborate on why so you need to know about one form of encryption, one algorithm that can encrypt data, and that is the Caesar cipher. And so this is one of the simplest and oldest forms of encryption. The name is supposedly uh, used, uh, it's come from Julius Caesar, the Roman general. So you can, that kind of tells you the age. Um, apparently he used it to uh, to send uh, secret messages. And it's something called a symmetric encryption algorithm, probably something you don't need to know. Uh, but that means only one key is used to encrypt and decrypt the data. So public public key encryption, which I just mentioned as being interesting, uh, that uses two different keys, a public key and a private key. So, but this uses just one key. And what it does, it works by realigning the alphabet. So it substitutes each letter in the original message, which is plain text, with a letter further down the alphabet. So, um, yeah, that's just <laughs> trying to show... Uh, it's more there for sake of it really. I just want to show you the letter being shifted down. So A is becoming D in this example and B is becoming E and all the other letters are moved down two times. So uh, three times. <laughs> and it's sometimes known as a shift cipher because each letter in your message becomes shifted by whatever key is and so the key is how many times it's been moved down and the direction. So it could go forwards, it could go backwards down the alphabet. And so because it's a very systematic change, it'd be very easy to decrypt and crack. So it's not a good algorithm for encrypting data. Um, so this is an example of a shift of three to the right. Um, so A is becoming X and K is becoming H in this example. So for example, the uh, message of a word hello uh, in this example 
uh, would be encrypted to uh, E B I I and L so um, but like I say it's a very easy one to crack because it's very obvious what's happening once you kind of work out the general idea uh, but that's it for this video uh, a very easy one I think compared to some of the previous topics so thank you for watching